It was a short while ago that there were many discrete systems. A few of us can still remember how there were fax machines that were separate from email, that was separate from telephony. Many of these devices today have now converged. And that converged ecosystem not only is for the fixed world, but also for the wired world. We begin with a cloud, something of the center of it all, a place where there is storage, a place where there is compute power. This migrates out toward the edge, a network based on many different medias, but starting to move toward fiber. And finally, you have edge devices. Edge devices such as access points, DAS systems, cell towers, even buildings that communicate to unique and differentiable mobile devices, items that people hold and use. Comscope helps deliver all three layers of this network the core, the access layer, and the edge. Today, there are three real drivers in this environment. Universal mobility being the primary one. Something changed when we were unleashed from the building or the house and could roam wherever we wanted to be able to do things that we never thought possible and use our times more efficiently than ever possible. The second real driver of today is cloud services. Most of those cloud services are actually storage, where we put our content in the cloud so that it can be accessed from anywhere. And finally, there's video, a huge driver of today's environment. Video really is the, the application that has driven us toward 4G and beyond. We find so much value in video. It's not just the original uh, application of email, the original written word, but it's it's something that can be communicated to many different people in many different ways, and that bandwidth-intensive application has driven our new networks. Tomorrow, however, there are going to be other things, other drivers. Tomorrow, everything will be connected. Today, it's really devices that you carry on your person, but tomorrow it will be the building itself that gets connected. It will be lots and lots of sensors all over the place that get put together to allow greater information for all of us. Now, what can be done with that information? We can call it a virtual engine, or ultimately, we can call it, call it artificial intelligence. It's the collection of the greater knowledge. All of these disparate pieces of information being brought together in an effort to make better decisions. Finally, there is virtualization. And virtualization is more than just cloud, than cloud storage. It is the ability to run compute power, to run applications anywhere, at any time, to match what you need to do with the ability to actually do it. And it's something that's really changing. Now, there are two big problems to overcome in our networks of the future. The number one problem is what I call the conundrum between the amount of data being required and the cost of that very same data. There's a divergence that's going on between this where the amount of data continues to be, to be uh, increased, yet the amount of money that people are willing to spend on that ever-increasing data is either flattening out or actually decreasing. And this is causing a problem for our networks and results in only one thing. We must become more efficient. More efficient in our deployment, more efficient in our equipment, more efficient in our use. The second big problem to overcome is time to market. There's an enormous advantage to you, the customer, to be the first person there, to be the person that gains that first to hold and leads the way rather than following. Followers often make less money. Followers often have greater problems in, ha in having to overcome that first mover's advantage. And so we work very hard our on making our installations easier to do the first time and more future-proof so that you don't have to go back and change as this very rapidly evolving world changes. So, the opportunity that we have is really about simplicity, making things easier to deploy, making them faster to deploy, and efficiency, making them more cost effective for our end user. We work for you, the network operator, to make your end user's experience better, 
and therefore the collective ecosystem to make more money in an everly increasing challenging environment. Where are we? We're everywhere across the network. As I said earlier, we start off in the core, in the data centers, the really centralized data centers where a lot of storage takes place, where a lot of compute power, power takes place. We work with the physical layer there, we work with physical layer management. We then branch out to the edge, where there, is, there, where there are other areas where we actually are moving traffic from the core to the edge. Now, as you move toward the edge, there are still data centers. There are data centers in, in old telco consolidation points. There are data centers being put up around there, and we help connect those. And finally, at the edge, whether it's in the building, or whether it's in the cell site, or whether it is actually right in the home, all areas where Comscope helps make that end user experience, that last jump to wireless possible. So finally, what are we? What is our DNA? How exactly do we make and do what we do? Well, first of all, it's a culture of integrity in doing what we say, when we say, and how we say. And we do this by problem solving. Problem solving with you. Being driven by your customers' problems. Understanding, discussing, consulting, ultimately living, and then solving with you to help come up with something which is better than what has ever been done before. Connections from the core to the edge, from wireless to wireline. Comscope is a company that helps solve your problems for both today and tomorrow. We have more than 25,000 dedicated employees that attempt to do this every single day. Today, we are more, more than five billion in revenue and have almost 10,000 in patents. We manufacture our products and service you for more than 30 manufacturing and distribution facilities around the world with sales offices in nearly every country. To be close to you, to be close to your customers, to be close to your problems so that we understand, feel your pain, and solve things in unique and value-adding ways. From all of us here at Comscope, we really appreciate that you're willing to work with us and let us be a part of solving your network problems and ultimately provide a better tomorrow for all of us.